All right, it is 7 o'clock. Actually, it's 6.59, but I couldn't wait any longer, you guys. I'm excited for tonight's class. Welcome to Tamara's Paper Trail. I am Tamara, and this is Mystery Card Monday. And I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, it's 7 o'clock now. We can start. We can start. This layout, you guys, I love it. It is so not my norm, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to show it to you. Excited, excited. Give me a hidey ho. There's Mary. Hello. Give me a hidey ho. Let me know who I'm playing with tonight. Mary, are you up to playing tonight? Hi, Shayla. Thanks for popping in. Hi, Joanne. Hey, how you doing? I just want to get crafty. Oh, so much. Hi, Melanie. So much. It has been, it has been a great three or four days, honestly. Uh, starting from Thursday, I have been in just the best mood. Hi, Janet. Such a good mood. Such a good mood. Good, Mary. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Hi, Ola Laurel. Tracy, it's Monday. Yes, I've had a great few days. Great, 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 great few days. Hi, Paulette. Uh, well, now, Melanie, let's just, Gerald is just, he, oh, he's excited. I'm excited. Jenny, she, okay, you guys, down again. Now, it wasn't a huge amount, but um, I weighed in last week on Wednesday. So remember I said uh, last week that I wasn't going to weigh myself because I couldn't handle it because <laughs> if I was down, no, because if I was up, I would just be sad and I would just eat. And there was no way I was going to be down. But if I was down, then I would be, oh my gosh, look at how much I could eat. And I still lost. So then I would eat more, right? Like I know me. Hi, Marlene. Hi, Christine. Hi, Darlene. Okay, we've got Marlene, Christine, and Darlene. <laughs> uh, right. Well, Wednesday I went in. And the only reason I went on Wednesday instead of Monday was because it was a holiday, right? Um, so I went on Wednesday and I told the lady, I don't think I'm going to weigh myself. And she said, that's absolutely fine. And I said, you know what? No, yes, I am. <laughs> I need to face the music. I cannot fear the scale. And she said, good for you. That's fantastic. You need to change your relationship for this, change your relationship with the scale. So I weighed myself and it was kind of like one of these, right? <laughs> and lo and behold, hi, Jen. Hi, Joy. Lo and behold, last week I was down point eight, like almost a whole pound. Like I'm not really into this whole point business, but point eight is almost a pound. So I was like, shut the front door. You've got to be kidding me. Um, because uh, coming off of Thanksgiving and the gravy and the pie, like the pie, you guys, oh my God. Anyway, I had eat, I was really bad. So I figured the week before I must've been down, but I was retaining salt or something because there's no way I could have been down like point eight. Anyway, I went this morning, so I weighed in last Wednesday, and now here we are just like five days later, and I thought, well, I don't know, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't horrible, I wasn't perfect, and I was down another 0.6. Yes, I was, so I am now down 32 and a half pounds. I am, uh, I am down to like 198 Point three. So now I like I'm seriously into the 190s, you guys. It wasn't a fluke. It wasn't a blip. It wasn't just, you know, I'd gone to the washroom. <laughs> it was I'm legit in the under 200. Now, let's just talk a little bit more about it because I'm pretty freaking excited about that. I said to Craig, now I'm really, really motivated. Thanks, you guys. Oh, the pecan pie, Mary. Oh, I've got a recipe that is to die for, to die for. And it was so worth it. Hi, Cherie. Bonjour. Um, anyway, so when I came home, like I said, I'm really motivated. Now I don't want the treats. Like I've been, I've been a little naughty, right? Like I've got a box of Costco chocolates here and I don't want them now because I said in my head, I was never, thanks Marcella. Thank you guys. Um, I was never 231. I wasn't, it just, it wasn't a thing in my head. I was 205, maybe 207. So really the first 20, 25 pounds in my head didn't count. It totally didn't count. But now I'm like 198. Now we're for real. And so now I'm uh, now I'm motivated again. And I might actually dig out my workout tapes. Like that's how serious things are now, right? <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. So that was um, that was this week's excitement. Um, another update. So last week, Thursday, I was cranky. You, you know, guys, I'm I'm cranky a lot. Like I'm really, I I might talk a good game here, but I tell you, the rest of the time, ask my family. I'm a bit of a biatch. Um, I have I have such a short fuse. 
everything just sets me off, you know, and I'm like, I, I'm just, I'm a bear. Um, so anyway, I went and got my hair did. So it's, it looks darker. It'll, it'll lighten a little bit. It's a little dark right now, but after two weeks of washing, it'll be fine. Um, so I got a new hairdo and that perked me up. And then I went and uh, visited a friend. I had to, um, I had to hook up with her. I hadn't seen her in, in a while. And she was the same. Like we both were just like, wah, 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 wah. and I said, you know, we just, we need a break. And she's like, yeah, totally we do. And anyway, by the time I got home, I messaged her. I said, okay, you and me next week, let's run away. Let's run away to the mountains. And so guess what? Next week, we're running away. I'm so excited. I had a moment of, I had a couple hours of guilt. And then I went, no, no, I am so ready for a break, you guys. And there is going to be, uh, you mark my words, there will be no social media for me. I am not going to be on Facebook. I'm not answering texts from my family. Uh, Craig will have the phone number of where I'm staying. And in le it's only if the dog dies, the house, like, okay, I won't even say bad things, but it has to be an emergency and then they can phone me at the hotel. No social media, right? Two days, me, I'm going to read a book. I'm going to do some yoga. I'm going to go for a walk. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be so awesome. So um, it's just been a really, really, really good week. And then, okay, I put out my Christmas stamp -a stack People are signing up for it. I'm planning my team uh, stamp and social and that's going really well. Like I'm just on top of the, I'm, I'm on top of my game this week, you guys. So I am excited. 706. Let's start stamping because I love tonight's layout. Um, yeah, just all kinds of good, all kinds of good. I mean, uh, it's, 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 it's good. I'm in a good place. Oh, and I fixed this, right? So yeah, now I'm back in a circle <laughs> and I have my, um, I have my other stuff going on here. Okay, so let's move it over. So, all right. Is everybody playing tonight? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. This is a fun... Okay, what is happening here? I'm trying to move myself and it's not working. Okay. All right. And it is really cold down here. So, <clears throat> we're going we're gonna to stamp to stay warm. All right. So, as I said in my... Oh, and my 100 paper pumpkins came today. 100 of them, you guys. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yay, bye! Awesome. So I've got a lot of work to get done. Um, but that paper pumpkin, oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. Okay. Let's just take a moment, shall we? Okay. Um, now, in my instructions, they might have been a little confusing because I said that we needed a designer piece of paper that's three by three. And that is true. That is what we need. But as I tried to explain... Oh, you don't know. Oh, not tonight. Okay, Melanie, will you kick back and just enjoy the fun, okay? <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you got the card stayed if it perked you up. Good. All right. So we need a three by three. Hi, Kevin. What do you mean? What am I going to do with 100 paper pumpkins? Kevin, do you not follow me? Come on. I did a fundraiser and I'm doing a Christmas stamp -a stack and I've got some customers who need some. So yeah, I've got a hundred of them sitting in my hallway. It's excellent. All right. So back to my uh, three by three. So I told you we need a three by three. Yes, I do, Mel. Hi, Mel. <laughs> See, this gets people talking, right? A hundred. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, three by three chunk. But what I'm going to do, because I love this layout and I need a whole bunch of these cards, is I've got a strip that's three by 12. And then I cut it to three by three. So I'm going to end up with four, right? So if you have a three by two, if you have a piece of 12 by 12 paper, we're just going to chop it. So it's three by three. So this is three wide by 12 long. We're just going to chop it at three, three, and three, three, <laughs> three, three. So we've got four of those then. Okay. Yes. My sales are quite good this month. I must say. <laughs> 100 paper pumpkin kits, in case anybody's wondering, that's a $3,000 bill. <laughs> like they're $30 each. Plus shipping, they're actually $31.45. But um, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a... My sales are good this month, I got to say. Okay. So here are all my three by three chunks. So the other things that we need, we need our standard card bases, eight and a half by five and a half. So I actually have seven of them here because I plan to make seven of this card. But uh, you can use one or you can use four depends on what you're what you're doing tonight we need a silhouette die so this is one some of the other options are also from this um the harvest meadow is that what it's called i don't even remember what it's called or nature's harvest uh but we have a lot of these hi mj 
nice to see you. Uh, there are a lot of dies that we have that are just silhouettes. We have um, lots of the leaves. We've got snowflakes. We've got trees. Anything that's a silhouette. And by a silhouette, I mean it doesn't need to be stamped. We could even use... Um, you know, some of our punches, we've got Christmas tree punch, we've got um, the dragonfly punch, we have the reindeer punch. So a silhouette is what you're going for. We also need uh, a circle die. Now I use, this is the second largest from the layering circle dies. Okay, and it measures two and five eighths. Now you don't have to use that size, but for, for the layout that I'm using, it is perfect and I highly recommend it. And you also need to have the layering circle dies in your life. So make sure you've got a circle die or a punch um, as large as you can find. Then what else do we use? So that's the silhouette die, or silhouette die, punched image, or a die cut. So you could have, um, you could use some of the penguins that are cut out. Um, these are die cut, punched. We've got, you know, our deer. Pardon me, we need layers, five by three and three quarters. Then our usual tools and embellishments. Okay, and of course our designer paper. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. So that's what we need. Now, if you have your circle ready and your cut and emboss machine handy, what you want to do is you want to take that bad boy over. You want to take your circle and your layer over to your cut and emboss machine. And you want to cut a circle out about like that. Hi, Carolyn. Hello. Oh, good. Do you have it yet, Melanie? You will not regret it, my friend. It is It is a must-have. It's, it's a must-have. I don't know how people... I mean, I guess if we've got our old um, circle punches and so on, then you can make do. But it just makes life easier when you've got, you know, you've got them layered for you so you know every one of these circles has a layering scalloped uh circle to go with it so it just makes life a lot easier highly recommend those okay so you go do that now if you're so inclined if you want to step your card up a little bit more you can run this this piece through the embossing folder afterwards so here i pre-did mine because i didn't think you needed to watch me do seven of them so this is what you end up with and like I say, I could run this through the embossing folder, but believe it or not, I'm not going to. I've got this one layout. Uh, it's crazy how simple and clean it is. Oh, thanks, Mel. Yeah, these are these are the way to roll. This was a tip that I learned from, uh, must have been Diane. It was you, Diane Inkster, wasn't it? If you're in tonight. Um, I have them on magnets and on hooks hanging close by. Um, yeah, any of my dies that are closed like that, I have hanging on Binder clips, binder rings, whatever those are called. Okay, focus to Mera. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to fold our card base. Step one, fold your card base. Boom, folder. Excellent, Melanie. You're going to love them. You're going to love them. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so this is what we're looking. Okay, my lighting is a little off. White on white is a little hard to see. I'm going to bring in my piece of designer paper. And my silicone mat, because you know how I can't work without that now, right? So you guys can't see past my face, right? Should I move my, maybe my face is a little big, a little terrifyingly large. Hang on. Let's see if I can make me a little bit smaller. Come on. Oh, there we go. There, let's make me a little bit smaller here. I'm shrinking. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my uh, my adhesive, and I'm just going to put adhesive on the four corners at an angle, if you can see what I'm doing there. Okay, so you can see where that's all shiny. And we're going to pop it behind this hole. So I put it on, this is the side I want facing up. This is from our black berry beauty paper. I just want to say black beauty, but that's not right. Um, so I'm turning over, there is a right and wrong side to this cut piece because you could, this one's all mangy from my grubby cutting pads. And then this is going to tape down over the hole. So I just, I, you could put adhesive all the way around it, but I know me and I've, I've not left a lot of room. Um, and I don't want the tape showing. So just put it on the corners and that is good enough. So we have it like that. 
Now this piece, I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. So I'm still using my take your pick tool. It is, it is now an appendage for me. I don't, I don't do dimensionals without it anymore. My nails just took such a beating because I use so many dimensionals. Like I use a pack a week easily. So I just use it now. It's just second nature. I use this tool for my dimensionals. Hi, Sheila. Long time no see. How are you? Thanks for popping in. All right. So I'm popping this up on dimensionals. Now, I don't have any extras cut for this one. So I'm going to use, this is this wheat uh, image from the Nature's Harvest dies. So I'm going to run that through my cut and emboss machine. If I was smart, which I'm not, I would put adhesive, um, adhesive sheets on the back of this <coughs> to make it a sticker. I don't feel like it, so I'm not going to. Just one more thing to do. I'm never, I never have that much time. Seriously, I'm busy. I'm a busy woman. Tired in the middle of a big move. What, what? Tell me more. Where are you moving? What's happening? Move at home? Move at work? What's going on? Tell me. Tell me more. I'm nosy. I live vicariously through others. My daughter wants to move. I keep telling her no because I'm not going to drive her to school. She carpools with a friend. I'm like, no, if we move... <laughs> then you have to walk to school. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I am simply going to glue this over here. Okay, and I'm going to use glue for that. Could use dimensionals, but it's a little tricky on this piece. But um, I have other pieces that I could use if I could find. I mean, there's this this silhou silhouette piece. It's a little harsh. So let's turn this down a little bit and see if it's a little less nasty. Hard to get a good white on white view of that. Anyway, I like the wheat. We sold our acre. Oh, you did. Right. That's right. And you're moving to Spruce Grove. Well, you're not that far from me. Where was your acreage? Outside of Spruce Grove, right? Not too far from it. That was a while ago. That's been on the market for, hasn't that been for a while or is that somebody else I'm thinking of? Sheila. Okay, so I'm just using my glue since I have three new ones that actually have glue in them. Okay. This is where I'm going to drop it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to plop that down somewhere around here. Huh? Huh? Loving it? I am. Parkland County. Yeah. Three months. Wow. Good. That's exciting stuff. Okay. Now I am going to stamp. Well, I had one. This is one option I had is I had urine inspiration on a tag, but I didn't love that. It was too big for the area. So I am going to grab my urine inspiration. Now this, what is this from? Oh, that one. You're an inspiration is from, I think, the, I want to say the Dragonfly set. I could be wrong. I could be right. Oh, look at me. Ha ha ha. Dragonfly garden. Every now and then I get it right. See, now these, oh no, he's got the punch. Right. But the, we have lots of grassy, well, there's lots of these silhouette guys. We've got all kinds of them now, right? And this I have punched out or stamped in cinnamon cider. Thank you, Melanie. Yeah, it's a great bundle. It really is. I hope it make. I'm sure it'll make it to the main catalog. If it doesn't, there's going to be a problem. <laughs> all right. So I'm just going to stamp this on some scrap. You're an inspiration. Oh, see you, Jennifer. <laughs> see ya. Because, yes, I am going to fussy cut. It's not a big deal, sister. Seriously. Grab some scissors. Okay, here. I'm going to I'm gonna do this just to make you twitchy, Jennifer. This is what I did while watching uh, a show last night. I cut out 25 of these. <laughs> and then 
I had cut out, sorry, a little, little squirrel moment here. We just have to, like, I cut out all the rest of my bears and my penguins. This has been a work in progress for months. Uh, yeah, I had a couple sheets just sitting beside the TV, and every time I'm sitting there, I don't just sit. So there you go. That'll make you nice and twitchy. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> I know. Hey, I can heckle right back, sister. I can heckle back. It's my show. <laughs> okay, so the easiest way to fussy cut is to turn your paper, not the scissors, right? It's easier on your hands, so you're turning the paper, leaving your scissors where they are. So Jennifer, does that mean I can never send you a card if there's fussy cutting on it? Is that how that works? <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to find, where did my other dimensionals go? I had brought down three or four. Okay, there. There's my little ones. Okay. Not a squirrel moment. It's a torment Jennifer moment. Maybe. Maybe. All right. So these are the mini dimensionals. Love them too. So you're an inspiration. Huh? Huh? Now I am getting my. Oh, what's this doing out there? What's... Oh. oh, I was looking for that. <laughs> okay. So I'm just bringing out my little bow tire. I need a six. This, before anybody asks, my dad made these for me years ago. Years and years and years ago. He made a whole bunch and I sold a bunch of them. Uh, I had in-person classes and uh, everybody wanted them. So he made me a whole bunch. Yes, I gave him the money. He was tickled. He was retired, so he was like, wow, he got like $100 worth of orders. He was quite happy. He just had a bunch of scrap woods, wood sitting around. So, Okay, so I've made myself a little bow. I was going to show you the card before. I know some of you like to see the card to see where it's going, but um, it's such a quick one. I never realized how sharp these scissors, are, these paper snips are. Um, when we stopped carrying the big ones, these ones, I was like, well, what the heck? What are we supposed to use for our ribbon? And I just didn't realize how dull my scissors are from cutting paper. But these ones we got at um, backstage a year or two ago. And so they are strictly for ribbon and they are sharp as all get out, I tell you. Oh, what's going on, says Nancy. We're making cards, Nancy. I haven't shown you the final version, but look, look what we got going on here. Hey, Nancy, were you proud of me? I, I knew that was Pamela in your video. I knew it was. I'm like, that's not raisin. That's Pamela. And sure enough. So I was very proud of myself. For anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, Nancy has three Russian hairless cats. And so they're kind of hard to tell apart unless you've watched a lot of Nancy's videos. And now I can tell them apart. They are her babies. Okay. All right, so I'm sticking that on with a glue dot. I'm not done yet. There's more. Uh, I just have to find my embellishments. Here they are. I'm using these more and more, you guys, the brush metallic adhesive things. This is the one bonus of not having in-person classes is I'm using my embellishments like nobody's business because I don't have to worry if I have enough for a class. Like, because, you know, it's like, oh, I don't have enough of that size or whatever. I love loading cards up with embellishments now. <laughs> there you go. Right? Aren't they gorgeous? I love, did I mention? I love this card. I love this card and I love this layout. Do you want to see some more? And then I don't know what we'll do. Because if I show you all the ones, then the show should be over. First time watcher. Hi, Linda. I saw you just joined my VIP page. Thank you and welcome. Uh, you're a friend of Bev's, correct? Welcome. So are you in the States too? We need to know. We need to know all about everything. Everybody, Linda, I'm very, very nosy. So I'm going to show you the rest of my cards just because I can't believe that this is my style. Can you guys believe this is my style? Look, I didn't emboss it, Tracy. Can you even? I can't even. <laughs> I always emboss the layers. Hi, Chris Stones from Australia. <laughs> All right. So here 
No, I'm going to, I'm going to keep that one. No, we're going to make another one. We're going to, okay, I'm keeping you in suspense. You have to, you have to watch. You just have to play along. <laughs> Keep watching. All right. Excellent. Well, any friend of Bev's is a friend of ours. So welcome to what we affectionately like to call the gong show. Okay, I am going to try this. Now, this is a piece of the paper from our Peaceful Prince. That was a free celebration item. The one with the deer. No antelope. And the deer and the antelope play. Okay. Yes, so my paper... So I'm just going to do the same thing. So just, you know, watch, play, do what it is you need to do. Um, so my paper pumpkins arrived. And I was kind of... Well, at first I was a little mad they didn't show up on Friday when everybody else showed up on Friday because I had so much work to do. But then I was kind of happy that they didn't show up on Friday because then I would have had so much work to do. <laughs> so I'm using the paper pumpkin kits for a variety of things, one of which is my stamp -a stack And I need to get those in the mail by Friday to make sure that they get to the recipients in time. Nothing stresses me out more uh in my business than mailing stuff and not knowing if it's going to get where it needs to get on time because i'm always last minute right and who knows what's going on with the postal service i don't know so anyway i um uh one of my girls nicole popped over on the weekend and she had one to donate for my fundraiser for the nurses that i'm doing so i I used that when I opened it and I'll just replace it with um, one of mine now that they're here so that I could play a little bit last night and try to get a jump on um, the extra cards that I'm making for my stamp -a stack So if anybody is in Canada who's interested in taking uh, doing the stamp -a stack I'll show you the cards that I've designed. Um, we're using the paper pumpkin uh, for 10 of the cards and then I'm topping it up with other cards and designs. Now, the reason I did it this way um, was so that everybody who is taking the class has the same stamp set and ink spot. Um, because you can't, you know, how do I know who's got what? And it, it's just cost prohibitive to say, okay, well, here are the cards, but oh, you also have to have this stamp set and that's going to be another $30. Oh, and you have to have this ink, that's another $10 oh, and then the shipping, right? So everybody is getting the paper pumpkin and then I've added to it. Um, thanks, Kathy. Yes, it is very white. That's why it's bizarre for me that I like it so much. Yes. The Cinnamon Cider Ribbon, uh, Marlene. Okay, don't hate me. This one's retired. It was from last year. Uh, the color Cinnamon Cider is still in, but um, this ribbon is not available. But I bet you could find it on buy and sell groups or if anybody um, has any they want to sell to Marlene, if she's interested, then there you go. Uh, Carolyn, what did you say, Carol? Okay, let me just see what else I got going on here. Do, do, do. Oh my goodness. Yes, the circle is from the Larian Circle Dies. Do, do, do. Thanks, Tracy. Oh, I have to give credit for this card. It wasn't my original layout. I'd love to take credit, but you know, I'm just a big old copycat, you guys. You think I'm all that? I don't know. I just copy from people. <laughs> and it was from a, um, someone named Lisa Addison, and she's at I'm in Haven dot blogspot.com so that was the layout she had done one it was with um with non-stampin up stuff so I, i'm not even sure what her what her gig is but i liked the layout uh and i thought i can use that as a great mystery card monday one so here is the start of my next card okay so then i'm going to try this i've got these trees are cut out from my Whimsy and Wonder Bundle. Is that what it's called? Whimsical Trees. Christmas Trees Dies. Okay, so there are these funky little die, these little guys. Hey, Tracy, aren't they cute? They do, they remind me too of Whoville. Um, okay, so in my creating for my stamp -a stack oh, did I miss anything? Oh, there's more comments. Ah, I know it's easy, Nancy. Hi, Amy, that's okay. All right, so this one I'm going to actually do a Merry Christmas. So 
the ink spot that comes in this particular paper pumpkin is the shaded spruce. And it wasn't until I was designing these cards that I went, oh, this isn't shaded spruce. This is like garden green. But you really don't notice when you stamp. Oh, I hear my dog playing out there. Um, the greens work quite... Okay, let me get my head over here so it's not correct. Right, the greens don't seem that different. Okay, so Merry Christmas. And there's a cat hair or something. I hate that. Oh, my dog is playing. Somebody has hidden his toy. All right, so there's a Merry Christmas in the green. Close that up. And then these, I'm going to pop up on small dimensionals. Wink of Stella on the silo. Oh, pretty. Nice idea, Bev. Excellent. Make sure you post your, at the end, you're going to post your cards in my thread, right, Bev? Okay. Oh. Got his toy out. I can hear it, hear it squeaking. Okay, so I really like this look of the silhouette extending down past the circle. I don't know why. It just makes me giggle. I don't know. But everything's making me giggle this week. I don't you know, it's just the thought of being able to go away. I, I can't even, you guys. Like I was in, like I say, I was in such a bad mood on Thursday, like just, bleh, you know, and you try to be positive going, okay, I lead, I have a very blessed life. I have no right to be miserable, but I was just done. I was just done with, well, I won't say the word that I've been using a lot this week, but um, it sounds like duckery. <laughs> and uh, I was just done with it all. And as soon as I called my girlfriend and I said here's what's going down and she said yeah I'll, I think I can let's 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 work on it I'm like seriously and then within hours we've got a place booked in Jasper and uh my mood ever since it's just it's having something to look forward to oh my goodness oh my goodness okay Bev says I will if I can figure out how to do it while live no do it after though Bev so when I post my here are my cards from tonight. Post in the comments below. So just take a screenshot or take a photograph with your iPad or your phone and then um, find that post on Facebook and you just click on the little camera and it'll bring up your camera roll. You can do it. I know you can. Oh, <laughs> I'm, oh, Crystal. Oh, I'm so glad, Crystal. I was, I was, you were making me want to start creating some Christmas cards. All I could see, I thought it said screaming because <laughs> my, my uh, cursor is in the way. Excellent, Marlene. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, ta-da. Oh my gosh. It works, right? It works. Okay. I'm going to show you another one uh, that I had designed that I think is going to be for my stamp stack. So you tell me. I'm going to need some comments here. It's, it's only 7.30. Oh my gosh. I'm going to make... Oh, yay, Mel. Yay. Mel, you have to play along. You have to play along. You have to... Are you making one with us or are you just watching? Um you need to post in the comments if you make this card. I mean, seriously, I do I do a draw from everybody who <laughs> posts uh, a card in the comments, but it takes me about six, I, I did it two weeks ago, so it'll take me about six weeks before I do the next set of draws. So you don't have to do it tonight, but in the next few days, if you make this layout, post it, and uh, you're laying in bed. Well, I'm a little jealous, Mel, gotta say. All right, so look, we've just done these, 733. Okay, I'm going to show you my third one because, oh my God, you guys, look. So I did it in red. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Look at this guy. This one has to be for the stamp stack, right? But less these because I can't, I don't think I have enough of the dots. But it's really cute even without the dots. Look at him. He's adorable. And if you do, maybe what I'll, no. I've got lots of rhinestones that we can then color with our blend markers or a Sharpie. Almost everybody has a Sharpie, right? I'll have to think about that. But I love this guy. Look at him. I did have a little, I did have one of the black dots on his nose. You could do a red one, but I didn't want to introduce another color. But oh my gosh. Halloween card. Do it. Oh, that would be so nice, Linda. You could do any cut out. Oh, yeah. It, look at this. Look at the options, you guys. It's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, I want, I need your opinion. So stamp a stack. Um, 
I'm going to just chat for a little bit here. So you guys keep creating. You do your thing. And then for those of you who aren't creating, you need to let me know your thoughts on things. Okay. So this is the kit, the October kit that we just got. So it makes 10 cards, five of this one and five of this one. Okay. For anybody who has this kit, here's a little top, top tip. Okay. Check this out. Here... Five of, five of these ten cards, this is the card base, and you fold it in half. Uh-uh, uh-uh, sisters. We were not raised to waste beautiful paper like that. No, we were not. You get your cutter, and you cut that card base in half. And then we... No, you can't have this as a back. You cannot. You can't. That can't be the front, and then that the back. No, not on my watch. Friends don't let friends waste pretty paper. Okay, so here's what you do. You cut it off and then look. You just got an extra five cards out of your kit. So you don't have 10 Christmas cards. You now have 15 Christmas cards. Yeah, you do. Look it. That's what you do. Okay, now you've got 15 cards out of your kit. So um, for my stamp stack you get to make you make 15, 20, or 25 cards. It is in Canada. It is 40 or 50 or $60 plus $15 for shipping. Now, I need to add some cards because that's only going to get you 10. Uh, so what I've done, here are the other cards I've done. Like I say, I cut off that front and ta-da! So now we have 15 cards, right? The 10 from in there, and then this, 15. So this uh, is the sentiment that's from the stamp set. And then I just added snowflakes. Pretty, right? So that's going to be one of the cards for the stamp stack. And then I was going to do this one. And then I made this one, but I've decided against it. But here's a nice alternative. Um, well, no, it's not an alternative. It, well, it uses the stamp set. But anyway. That one I decided against. The this is white. It was supposed to be like a moon. I don't know. That one that was hours ago. That one's out, I think. This one is in. Look at the layout, people. What layout is this? Huh? Huh? Right? Look familiar? Hmm. <laughs> I think so. Look familiar? Right. You guys, look at these baby cards. Look at they're so stinking cute. You saw them. Check out my blog post. So this is this is why I wanted to make them was for grandbabies. Congratulations on the birth of a beautiful new grandbaby. That's an old retired set called um, Grandma's House. And then on the inside, so happy for you, and also slightly jealous because I am because I need grandbabies. I do. I want grandbabies, but my 16 year old keeps telling me I'm only 16. <sighs> Fine, I'll wait. Anyway, my point is, same layout. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. Can I still order the paper pumpkin? It's too late to order the paper pumpkin, Mel, unless they offer um, unless they offer them as full kits. But are you in Canada? You can get in on the um, you can get in on my stamp stack. It's not too late for that. Uh, okay, so I'm thinking, yes, for the stamp stack, it's going to be. These two cards, one, two, three, four, five. Huh? Oh, the, no, these are these are too similar. No, no, this, wait, stop. Oh, now we have choices. Which one do we like better for the stamp stack? Oh, okay, you guys, which ones? Okay, give me your, we gotta have to have the deer, right? You're having your first grandbaby? Oh, Shayla, I'm so jealous. Ah, good for you. Well, I'll be sending you a card if I have your, I have all these baby cards if I had your uh, address. Um, I could send you a card. Okay, so this is the third card. Which two? Four. We got to have this guy, right? Because I love him. Yes, the deer. And then which one of these? But this one's just like the deer. That's too similar. Not that it matters. What do you think? Uh, snowflake yeah so deer is in for sure because he's just so freaking adorable now which one's more work they're both the same I have to emboss that's a punch that one's a little bit more work 
The deer and the snowflake? No, dear Jennifer. Sit down. Sit down, Jennifer. <laughs> the deer. He's in. He's in. Okay, so we've got a vote for the snowflake. Another vote for the snowflake. Snowflake. All right. Snowflake it is. But don't you, but, but now don't, you don't want to hurt the tree's feelings. He's lovely, right? <laughs> You're not dissing this card, are you? No, I think I like this one better too. It's more me, I think, hey? Oh, for heaven's sake, Jennifer, you're just, you're such a poop disturber. All right, I'm going to go back and make some more cards now. Jennifer, honestly. Okay, so these are the three cards. Now I can post that on social media and get that done. They'll be in the mail on Friday. I still, I think I only have four spots left for my stamp stack. So if you are interested, please private message me soon because once I push it out, um, and I show all these people these fabulous cards. It'll be sold out like that. Uh, and the rest are for my fundraiser for the nurses. So, Kevin, if you're still here, um, that's I'm doing a fundraiser for nurses. And I wanted to uh, people sponsored kits, paper pumpkin kits that I um, am now going to take to the uh, various uh, various units for Edmund, in the Edmonton hospitals for our nurse, for not just nurses, our healthcare workers, just nurses is easier to, to say, thank a nurse um, rather than thank a healthcare worker. So, but it is any of the healthcare workers. Um, and my friends are going to do a draw amongst people in the units and to see who gets one. And yeah, so we raised, um, we raised enough money to purchase 75 kits. And then I donated a little bit to cover the shipping. And um, I donated the 75 blocks that are needed, right? The little paper, the little blocks, um, so they can use the stamps. Um, oh, see, Tracy likes the trees. And that's why Tracy is my favorite. <laughs> no favoritism here. I didn't say that. Um, the trees. Yeah, the trees. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Carolyn, you're in, sister. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now there's only three spots left in the stamp -a stack. Let me know how many you want, Carolyn. Um, 20, no, 15, 20 or 25 cards for 40, 50 or $60. And yours will be porch pickups. So there's no shipping. Anyway. Um, tree, the other card has the snowflakes. Well, now I forget what I had. I know. See, right, Sheila? Now, hi, Sheila. Oh, see, now Sheila's in. So Sheila likes the trees. Because that's what I was thinking. We got the snowflakes here, too. Oh, can I put the trees on here instead? Like if these were trees, but no. How about if I did trees on here? Oh, now I'm torn because I want to give Sheila what she wants. Because she's already, she's doing the stamp stack. Hmm. Hmm. Well, keep voting. Which one do you like better? Trees or the snowflakes? And actually, maybe I'll ask the people who are registered for the uh, stamp stack. <laughs> yeah? Make one and see how it looks, says Sheila. Oh, trees, says Lynn. Okay. I know. Double snowflakes, right? Oh. Well, maybe I could find a different embellishment for this. How about, like, is this one? Okay, let's work. Let's... Let's make this all about me and my stamp stack. I mean, here's another option. Where did my tree go? Hang on. I have a glittery, this one. Okay. Okay. Pretend. Okay, let's take him off. Oh, look, I can do this. Uh, it's going to rip. Hang on. Trees. Okay, look, you guys. How about that? Is that any better? Like with a different, maybe not with this paper, because I don't think I have enough of this paper. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hold it. Hold it. Hold on. Wait a minute. Don't go away. Hold everything. I've got, I've got chills. They're multiplying and I'm losing control. Sing it with me. Hang on. I know, Mary Jean. I know. Love the trees with the tr love the trees with the tree paper. Love the trees with the tree paper. 
Love the trees. Oh, yes. It's nice, right? I know. Okay, but wait. Hang on. Look, I have this velvet paper. Oh, he's not quite pure white. That angers me. Oh, maybe. Never mind. Wrong side. <laughs> oh, no. It's not as white as it needs to be. Nope. Hang on. I'm going to try the trees over here. Oh, I could do the trees. No, the trees aren't that white. I, it needs to be white. Sorry, velvet paper. You're not white enough for me. So we've stopped making the cards this evening. <laughs> but you got the gist, right? Like I made some. You saw me do that. Okay, let's see. Gotta work smarter, not harder, right? I've got a captive audience here. Oh, I don't. Oh, I'm losing things. Hang on. I love these little trees. They're so cute. I'm not sure that I'm going to love die cutting um, like 74,000 of these. But anyway. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh, that's adorable. This has to go under here though, right? What do you think? Maybe this one because it's longer. Wait, wait, wait for it. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> Thanks, Shayla. I know I'm such a child. Okay, this is it's too far over. I'm, I'm rather manic, Shayla, in everything. Like, I'm either super excited or super angry. It does, doesn't it? This one, no, I think, okay, see, I... I tore it when I took off that snowflake, so. And then I'll, I'll play with this for the next 20 minutes, trying to get it just so. I think I need to, okay, just a minute. Hang on. This has a boo-boo on it, so we're just going to cover it up with a different piece. If I were my tape. Tape. Right beside me. <laughs> Got to cover that up because it's distracting me. Okay. Now, I can decide. A little skinny one there. I need my dimensionals. All right. Long one on the left. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. I agree, Lynn. I agree. Okay. So, yeah, with going to Jasper next week, we have two minds. Part of me wants to eat really healthy read a book, do some yoga, go for walks. The other part of me wants to stay in my pajamas the entire time and eat potato chips and drink wine. <laughs> so it could go one of two ways. I think it'll be somewhere in the middle. I don't know. Part of me, I'm not, you know, I'm not really into alcohol, but um, I do have some mama mango and I've got some mama peach. And so I might have some of that, but I really like the idea too of tea, and reading. I think I might make my friend do some yoga moves with me. I've wanted to like yoga and meditate. Um, I need some meditation in my life, I think. I need to calm down a bit. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty freaking excited, I tell you. Okay, there we go. There it is. How's that? Is that better? Okay, so this one and this one and this one there then they're all different right what do you think how do you feel about that one Ah, thanks tracy 
Second option sounds good. Chips and wine. <laughs> oh, you were talking about the chips or the, or the tea. <laughs> Mama Peach. Yes, Nancy. I found a Mama Peach at Costco. I don't know if it's still there or um, or what. But uh, anyway, Sheila, what do you think of this combination then? Do those Are those better? Because then you've got the snowflakes on this one. Because honestly, the snowflakes are a bit of a pain in the sraka to have to make a bazillion of. Not that these are going to be much easier, but I like them. Hey? It's such a good kit. It is such a good kit. And um, this paper, I might have like seven packs of it. So um, I had I'd planned the green because the, the shaded spruce is the ink spot that goes with it. Even though this is garden green, it really, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's different colors. So these are three different greens. This is the uh, evening evergreen, garden green, and shaded spruce. So, okay. Love the trees with the tree paper. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, I was wrong. Where's Sheila? Sheila. Okay. You're okay with this one, Sheila? The trees? All right. I think we have our cards then for the stamp stock. I can start cranking them out tomorrow. This one is going to be a major pain in the stock, but um, it's hard for me to be minimalist. Okay. That's our stamp stock. Cool. And that's going to be on November 5th at 630 Mountain Time. And that's about all I know about that. What else do I have going on? I'm also going to be... Oh, I bet one of those... No. Uh, I have a, a class coming up with the Eden's Garden bundle of products. That one's a $95 class, and that's on the 19th of November. Um, and I've got a few other things coming down the pipe. Uh, oh! Oh! Okay! I haven't posted it yet because we just found out like an hour ago. There's going to be a one-day sale, you guys. This, this calls for a close-up. A one day sale, 15% off the red rubber stamps, the cling ones, not photopolymer, uh, everything but the hostess sets, 15% off, but only for 24 hours, I think on the 20th, Tracy, correct me if I'm wrong, I didn't actually read the date, <laughs> I think it's on the 20th, okay, 15% off, every red rubber stamp, good deal, smoke a good deal, okay, thank you, Joy, thank you. All right. Uh, awesome. Linda, I'm glad. Uh, Linda with a Y. Okay, Linda uh, Vitamanti. Did I say that right? Vitamanti? Sounds very Italian. Yes, the 20. Thank you, Jennifer. Um, I'm just going to keep on crafting. I have nine minutes, so I can crack off a whole bunch of cards in that time. Right? Because I actually want to send... Uh, I have a plan for these cards. Um, for our backstage which is uh, like a conference that we have once a year for leaders. Um, so when you're a certain title, Silver and Elite and above, you get to go to this um, training and um, conference really for leaders. And you learn a whole bunch of stuff. A number of my Stampin' Friends were presenters for our backstage um, conference. That was in August. So I'm a little late getting cards out, but I have, I've only just been watching them recently, but I wanted to send some cards to my friends. Um, okay. Why am I looking at me still? <laughs> I, I wanted to send some cards to my friends just saying, well done. Like the, I know what these presentations, um, they take a lot of time and effort and you're presenting to the entire, uh, you know, upper echelon of Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. And it's, it can be quite nerve wracking. Um, because you're, you're presenting to the leaders and uh, you know we're always all riddled with self-doubt and <laughs> stuff like that so anyway I wanted to send them this card so I'm mass producing and I have lots of time to do that one two three four five six seven I don't even know how many of these have but uh, yeah I've got some papers cut already so honestly look at how fast this is so I have seven minutes right let's see oh I haven't die cut those pieces yet though so again, in case you missed it the first time around, like Nancy, swimming, swimming. Oh, that's therapy for your shoulder, is it, Nancy? And I'm going to run out of tape here right away. Yep, I'm going to run out of tape. Excellent. Okay, so the nice thing about that stamp sale, too, is for anybody who is a demonstrator right now, that 15% is on top of your 20 or 25% instant income so if anybody is out there who is in pending or just to hit, hit help hit your own quarterly sales um this is the time to do it order up those sets you want for christmas 
and the, that's the reason that they're doing the um the red rubber ones and not photopolymers they have a better control over production and they're not coming from china or from anywhere else so they're, they're made in Kanab, utah so they'll be able to um make sure that there's enough stock so just in case you missed kathy's comment it's only the cling stamps in the annual cloud not the mini oh in the annual cloud thank you tracy i didn't see that yes are you sending out a link for the stamp sale? I will do, Marlene. Um, if you log in, uh, you can read all about it. Um, yes, but I can talk to you about that uh, tomorrow, Marlene. I'll, I'll be posting um, some stuff on the team page about that too. Okay. Okay. Yes, only in the annual catalog, correct. I read it wrong. In my head, it was only the photopolymer stamps, even though I saw cling, but in my head, I was thinking photopolymer. So I'm glad I read the comment that it was only the red rubber, excluding hostess sets. So they're not on sale. They're already dirt cheap, those hostess sets. They're at the back of the book, if you're wondering what a hostess set is. You can only purchase them with hostess dollars. So, and you only earn hostess dollars with a party of $200 or more. So there you have it. Okay, $7.55. Donna, are you in the house tonight? I haven't, I haven't seen Donna. Okay, is that all of them? I think. Oh, see, I used the other one on something else. See, and the nice thing too about this card layout is you end up with all these little chunks for other projects right so what you could do is if you had this as your cart like this as this size pretend it was this size then this could be your circle and you could do a silhouette in this color uh cinnamon cider you could do a silhouette piece you know what i'm saying like you don't have to waste anything like it could be like this with this as your layer picking up what i'm laying down you know what i mean Okay, I don't think I have any more of those left. So I'm just going to attach my dimensionals. If I can find them. A little, little big. I don't know where the rest of mine are. Do, do, do. I do go through a lot of them. But I use six on a card now. Like, I don't know more of this. Oh, using four business. I like six now. So I do go through them quite quickly. So it's 7.57. Um, all right. Well, I can call it there. You don't need to see me watch me put dimensionals on uh, because I'm not going to make anything new. So here are our cards from of this evening. Two, three. Where's Mr. Deer? Oh, I put him in the box. I'm sorry, Mr. Deer. Come out of the box. Come to the light. So check that out. Huh? And look, I still I've got, I've got all these pieces cut for mass producing my uh, this card. <laughs> so uh, I always have such great plans, and then they end up being shoved in a bucket and put on the floor. But anyway, so here we go. Here are our cards. Let's just back this up, back up the bus a little bit. I'm gonna take a picture of these, and then sometime in the next six weeks you are going to put a picture of what you made in the comments and I will do a draw for a wee prize like don't get too crazy excited it's uh it's nothing too awesome but you get the handmade card right the deer is in the glimmer paper did I put him back oh here he's in the he's in our glitter black glitter because everybody needs a sparkly deer in their life. And then his little antlers. So this is how the deer actually comes out. But there are also antler pieces get punched out as well. And so I just put them on the back with uh, a glue dot, with glue dots. Attaches antlers. So I actually, um, you could do as well. They could be looking at each other. I did, I did that. Oh, this guy's got, he's missing on a leg. <laughs> I did them like this where they were looking, kind of looking at each other. So that's how it all kind of started. Cute, right? Yeah. Indeed. There you go. Thanks 
Thanks very much, Melanie. Uh, silhouette. Oh, Tracy, don't get me started. I've had songs in my head. I can't get them out. I had the same, the same songs going on for days. But anyway, okay. So at seven fifty nine, where's Gerald? That was fun, fun, fun. I was looking so forward to tonight. Tomorrow is Check It Out Tuesday. No clue what's happening tomorrow. No clue at all. Um, but I do have. I got some things I need to do, so I'll probably, I'll work on those, and that might be my check it out Tuesday. But I'd like to I'd like to work on a stamp set that I haven't used yet. Um, I'm always taking suggestions, so if there's something you want to see, no guarantees I'll do it. I have to feel it, right? I have to be in the mood. Um, but throw it out there. If there's a technique you want to see, or if there's a type of card, or a fold, or a stamp set you want me to use, um, I'll take it into consideration. So, thanks for hanging out with me. Super fun. I will see you tomorrow right here, seven o'clock. Tomorrow's paper trail. Have a great night, you guys. Talk to you later.